I'm making an air combat game with paper airplanes, but there is a problem. The enemy plane is very stupid and keeps crashing into houses, trees and roads. Sometimes it just uh, explodes for no reason, so I need to fix it and make the red plane an incredibly dangerous enemy for the game. Stop doing that! Alright, let's analyze the problem. Currently, the red plane only flies straight, so if I put something on its path, it will crash into it. Am I putting houses on its path on purpose? Yes, of course. But that's not the point. We need to enable the enemy plane to rotate and move to different spots on the map, possibly without crashing. My goal is to be able to pick a point in space, and then the plane will fly there. We will then be able to build the actual enemy's artificial intelligence on top of this. So let's start. Here is a sphere. It will be the target for the enemy plane. The only thing I want now is to get the plane there. My first approach was to ask ChatGPT for some help, and it was very happy to help me. It gave me some code that actually worked on the first try. I was very impressed. And now the sphere has a moon of its own for some reasons. Anyway, there is a problem with this approach. Planes don't really move like this. A major component of a plane's movement is the roll, which is not used now. And the roll looks cool. Come on. So I'm going to redo part of the plane's movement, but I'll keep some of the code. Thanks, ChatGPT. I made the red plane roll, but it only flies straight. Oops, a house. I really don't know who put it there. We have to make the enemy plane reach the target again. Here's what I came up with. Well, the plane rolls, which is cool. And it's also flying towards the target, which is also cool. But it looks like the plane is drunk. So we need to solve this. Okay, it looks to be doing a bit better than before. No, it doesn't. It took me hours to understand why it was wrong and, uh, well, uh, many attempts to understand the math behind the plane's movement. It turns out I was the problem because I had introduced a bug into the code. I forgot about it and kept wondering why nothing was working, but then I remembered that I put the bug into the code. So I called an army of ducks to get rid of it. The ducks attacked ferociously, but then the bug's friends arrived and then... Oh, sorry, what was I talking about? Oh, right, now the code works and the plane can reach the target in a cool way. <laughs> now that we can make the plane move from one point to another, we can start building the artificial intelligence that will control it. The AI will be the brain of the enemy plane and will tell it what to do based on some rules. How can we make the AI for the plane, you might ask? Oh, I have no idea. So I did some research, which just means that I played Ace Combat for the whole week, but it was worth it because I came up with a plan for my plane's artificial intelligence. So listen up, Steve. What? I want the plane to follow a path and be able to see things. Once it sees the player, it will start attacking. If it can't see the player anymore, it will go back to the path. All clear, Steve? I wasn't listening. Space! Now that we have a plan, we can start by building the path. To keep it simple, we'll just use three points. Red, green and blue. The plane will fly through them in a loop. Or at least that's the idea. So I wrote some more code. This time without bugs, I think. <laughs> this is called revenge. Let's see if it works. Okay, we are off. The enemy plane will go to the red sphere first, then turn to the green sphere and finally head to the blue one. Let's see if it's going to turn to the correct direction. Oh wow, it's working. And now just the last turn to the blue one. Alright, this worked as well. After the blue sphere, it will head back to the red one and will continue the loop. Or it might crash into a house. Okay, the flight path is complete and the plane will follow it. The next step is to get the enemy plane to attack the player when it sees him. This will finally make the red plane do something useful instead of just crashing into houses. So I made the enemy plane capable of seeing and following us. Then when it can't see us anymore, it just goes back to its regular path. Do you hear the clock? Yeah, it's weapons time. Space, that is my clock. We have two weapons in this game, the gun and the missiles. We can start by making the enemy shoot at us with the gun. I made the enemy plane start shooting when it sees the player, but there is a problem. The red plane is stupid, so it doesn't understand gravity. To fix this, I tried to make it less dumb, but that was impossible, so I decided to adjust its aim based on its distance to the player. It's still dumb though. But that won't be a problem, because we are going to give it missiles. The missiles are much smarter than the red plane itself. They will lock onto the player and cause a lot of damage. 
Let's see them in action. Missiles will only be launched if the enemy plane can see the player. Oh, that must hurt. Yeah, I think so too. If you enjoyed this video, you might like the previous episode where we built the weapons. You too. Stop throwing bugs at each other. You gotta be kidding me.